Hey everybody, welcome back to Disturbing Creations Pets and today I'm introducing a new animal on our channel. So this has been my little mascot. He is actually the profile picture, but unfortunately I just have been so busy that I never got to have him on camera. So this is Blinky, the Blinkster. Um, he's a guinea pig, super cool. Not very loud this one, unless he's hungry. And then he starts going, weep, 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 and, you know, um, he, he purrs a lot. Hi, baby. Are you talking to the TV? I don't know if you guys can hear him, but I'm going to get some close-ups of him so you can see. Anyway, um... We're not going to be going over any of Blinky's food or any of that today, but today we're going to be building a cage for Blinky. So there's a lot of different things that you should and should not do. Um, I don't like cedar chips in any of my bedding uh, just because they're poisonous and um, you have to watch wood. So a lot of people use fleece, which is like cloth like this. So I have this little um, fleece um, pad here and it's pee pee through uh, proof. So your guinea pig is going to pee a lot and it releases like a hundred little pellets, which are its poopies, um, like a hundred a day for this little tiny guy. And they all look the same. You know how a rabbit makes a little circle. This makes like a little football and this little pad is great. Uh, so you don't want to hold your guinea pig for a long time, more than 15 minutes is what I'm reading, because they urinate a lot. And it might just be a little bit, but it's stinky, it gets on you, and it's not very cleanse, uh, uh, clean. So what I do is I use this little pee pee pad for him to sit on, and if he makes a little mess on this, then I can just throw it in the shower or the sink or something and give it a good wash. If it's not too bad, I can just throw it in the wash with my regular clothes or work clothes. So what we're going to do is we are going to be putting a piece of cardboard down as a base. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we need to find a base for the cage or a cage. And this cage I had, but the base I made out of wood. And I was putting it, the wood, um, two garbage bags around the wood, one on one side, one on the other. Then every month I would have to change the bedding and change that. But then I found this, this is a mixing container that I got from Home Depot and it fits exactly in here, which is great. Then I can just pull this up, pull him out or play with him and put this back. It's not connected. I like that a lot. And the reason that I like this is because it has these nice big walls and guinea pigs like to hide because they're naturally um, prey. They don't have any predator things. They don't scratch with their claws. They don't bite unless they're about to die or someone's really hurting one really bad. So they like to hide. Uh, when they hide, they like these high walls. Some places will even give you things when you put the cage in, it'll give you a liner to go around to make it feel like it's in a little burrow. So I like this and then I lay something on top here and then he can still get sun and light through the front and through the side. And he tends to like it a lot more. Uh, I don't see him hiding in his cubby hole as much, but let's get right down into it. So uh, you guys saw that I made my own bedding. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is I like to put some kind of uh, material down that will saturate any liquids so I like cardboard so you could use anything and we're gonna put that down or you could use something like this just just cardboard you know so I just kind of rip a little cardboard up get it in there nice base is is so that he doesn't feel the cold of the bottom 
of the cage. And I'm going to go through all of these steps with you as we put his cage together. And then I'm going to put small little like um, stuffing or fluff. I'm not really sure what it's called, but we are going to be making our own. I did get some from a store that someone donated to me because I rehome and rehelp a lot of animals. After I make a bottom, then we put the other stuff in. Now, you can tear these pieces apart like we did earlier and rip them up and make bedding. I'm going to do that. I'm going to save these. And this is the bedding that we made. So you see it's just like fluffy cardboard. And he can move it all around and play in it. And when he goes to the bathroom, it soaks it up but it's light enough that it'll dry, you know? Now let's look at the stuff that we got from the store. So this is, this is the cardboard we got from the store. Well, not the cardboard we got from the store. Where is the cardboard we got from the store? Oh, this is the cardboard we got from the store. And I put it in this little container. Now, if you ever got like egg crates, this is kind of like what those egg crates are. They take those egg crates and they just rip them into a thousand pieces or shred them somehow. And it comes out with this nice substrate, you know, and all it is is ripped up cardboard. Well, I don't have anything to rip the cardboard up, so I rip it up in squares. It's almost basically the same thing. So I just kind of mix it all together, you know. Mix it all together, there. and then that'll be the bottom of his his um, playpen there, you know. Then we're gonna add some things. So I have this uh, soda. Uh, some people call this pop, whatever. These drinks. You can have a little box. You could put it in there for somewhere for him to hide. You know, it doesn't have to be fancy. Not everyone can afford all the nice things when they first get a pet. I would rather you get this nice substrate that it's just cardboard that's ripped up. So I started ripping up cardboard on my own, just whatever I get in the mail. You have to make sure it doesn't have any of that plasticky stuff on it because that won't soak up for him. It'll just leave the pee and the poops on the, the plasticky side. You don't want to do that. But you got to get regular little pieces of cardboard and just rip them up or cut them up into pieces. I usually do it while I'm watching TV and it's like I'm not even wasting time at all because it gives me something to do and I'm watching TV at the same time. So I fill that up because it soaks up all his peas and he usually goes in just one spot in the litter box or um, in, the, in the cage. So they say you can litter train them. I've never litter trained him but he normally goes in like one corner. So he's kind of litter trained himself. So let's get a few close-ups of Blinky and uh, he's squealing. So I, I called him Blinky when I first got him because one of his eyes was damaged and it was so poofy that the poof was protruding out and I had to keep cleaning it. I didn't think he had an eye at first. So, but you can see, look at the camera, baby. His good eye and his good eye. So it took a while, it took a little bit. We had to get him back to where he needed to be. I, I was just very good to him for a while and, um, <clears throat> now he can see fine, but um, he's still blinky. I mean, that's what I called him, so. You being a good boy. Good boy. He makes these little happy noises when I pet him.
You can get underneath. Get underneath your chin. He loves underneath the chin. Oh, he just peed, I think. The pad got worn. So this is why you always gotta have a pad. So even if he's chilling, hanging out, whatever. And they say you can't touch a guinea pig's butt, but you see I can touch his butt. He's not trying to snap at me. Before, when I first got him, I would touch his butt. He would turn around and try to snap at me a little bit or, or move his head. But he trusts me so much now that I can, I can just pet him all over and he doesn't bother him. Huh. Who's my good boy? Who's my good boy? Yes, he is. You're my good boy. You're my good boy. Yes, you are. You're my good boy. <laughs> what, you want to taste? He's licking me. I don't know if you guys can see that. So sometimes they'll lick you because you have salt on your hand and they like that salt. You can see him licking me. He's giving me a little kiss. I pet him and he gives me a little kiss back. You know? These are not predators. He's, they're never going to bite you unless you're trying to kill them. You know, you... You see, he's eating the salt off of my hand. Come on. Such a good boy. He's such a good boy. All right, I got to go get his cage made so you guys can see how to do it. Say bye, Blank. So this is how I make my bedding. I'll get pieces of cardboard, like these are insert pieces that came in a box. And then I'll just rip them up into smaller pieces like these. And then I'll just go down and rip them into even smaller lines. And then I just start tearing them apart. You know, two or three at a time, whatever I can get. Just while I'm watching TV or whatever. And then you have all these little pieces of fluff that you can put into your cage. And all of these soak up the pee pee. And it's, you see, it's not flat. They kind of move around. I kind of crumble them a little bit before I stick them in there or while I'm sticking them in there. So they get little angles on them, you know, like that. Now you can use like this, like a soda, because this is plat. This doesn't have that plasticky stuff on it. And then I just tear, make the strips again. This piece right here has a little glue on it and I kept this just because I wanted to show you guys the glue. Uh, I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. You don't want to put this glue, this kind of stuff in the cage. So that piece we won't use, but then the rest of this stuff that doesn't have glue on it, then we can just keep tearing it apart and using it. Now I found other good things to use plastic wise or like, like these. Like if you get a box, you can just tear this apart real easy. You know, and then tear it down to pieces that you can handle. And this is all really light cardboard. No plasticky on the side. When you tear the cardboard and you see that little bit of like plastic film on the side, can't use that. It's not gonna soak up anything. I would just use any kind of regular cardboard. I would try to stay away from this if you don't really understand like what the plasticky stuff is, what I'm talking about, and just go for regular boxes. You can get boxes anywhere for free. Um, if you go to the grocery store, you could just ask them for some free boxes. Like just tell them, you know, uh, I need them for my pets or I'm moving or whatever you want. You only need like one or two and it'll fill the entire cage. If you get one big box, um, if it's thick, you could just get some scissors and just sit here and cut as I'm watching TV and just do this while you're looking, you know what I mean? 
So you're killing two birds with one stone. You're getting entertainment by watching TV and chilling, hanging out. And you're doing something really good by recycling. And you're saving money as well by not having to buy this stuff. So this is his little igloo. He's used to this. He plays with this. And this is just a temporary box that he can play in. Now, if he goes to the bathroom in this, you can throw this out after a week or two weeks, maybe a week. And then just throw another one in here and he'll appreciate it. Now, I did get this donated to me, this little piece of wood right here. And I just screwed the little piece of wood on here and here. This piece of wood. And then what that'll do is that gives him a second floor to hide on. So what I did was I put it on top of the box and it just happens to be perfectly the same length. Because if you laid on the box, it would move it and squish it, and he wouldn't be able to use it. But now he can get into the box and hide, and he can get on this and sit up here like a second uh, floor, and he can chew on this. They have to chew on this wood, or their teeth will continue to grow, and it'll grow so much that he won't be able to eat, and he'll die. So that's why we have little things like this little chew toy here. You get these little hanging toys. You can make some of this stuff on your own. I'm actually making a couple right now out of pieces of wood. Um, you got to get wood that's good for the the um, guinea pig. You can't give him cedar. There's a couple of wood you can't give him, but we're going to go over a guinea pig care 101 video will be our next guinea pig video. This is just how to make the cage. So we made the cage. We mixed all the substrate together, ours and the one from the... Um, from the uh, store and then you got to have like one of these little things so you can put a thing inside here and put hay in it but I like to use the hay on hay uh, filler on the outside because I could put the hay here it gives him like he sticks his little arm and his little nose in there and he bites it and pulls it through and it gives him some exercise to get it out as well so then he has this he has this and then I was gifted this little thing as well from a, a very nice lady named Debbie. Um, shout out to Debbie. Thank you so much for helping us rescue pets. Uh, we, we're going to put this in here. I made this little thing as well. So that will go in the back right here. And I'm pretty sure you can lock this to the cage as well you take the spinner off you lock it to the cage and then he can't knock it over so he's got his exercise wheel in here he's got his little two two tier hider wood in here he's got his little box to play in his igloo this and now i just need to go downstairs and get his water bowl and his um his his water bowl and his little dish that clips on and we'll be just about done and stick him in there and we're going to see how he likes it. I got him in his little temporary box right here. Like whenever I take him somewhere, I'm going to be playing video games or I'm going to be working on something in my office. Sometimes I'll put him in this little temporary box and um, just let him come down and play. Because I only have one guinea pig. The cats do play with him. They don't try to, to hurt him. I've, I've taught them that he's one of us. You know, he's like a little kitten. So this is his water bottle. I like these instead of the, like, a, like a, let me show you one. It's, I like these instead of this because this type of thing that just lays on the ground, he gets all the substrate in it and then it's no good or he'll knock this over. But this has a little hook. So I just stick it in there and hook it in. And then I just slide it back right there. And then he's got like a little food thing here. So I have his little pellets in here. You got to feed your guinea pig the right stuff. Please don't just give it fruit all the time. He needs more than fruit. He should be eating these pellets because they're a little bit hard and they keep his teeth down as well. And they're made just for guinea pigs. But when we go over our basic class on how to keep a guinea pig happy, uh, basics then um, I'll show you how it's done or what to what I buy him so come on baby come on you want to go in your new cage come here come on I know I know let's see okay, get in there. 
All right. Oh, there's all this new stuff in there, huh? What is all this stuff? Yeah, look, you got a little wood log and you got, you know your house, huh? Check him out. Let's get a close look. How you doing, buddy? Huh? Yeah, you got your pellets and your water and your wheel. And your two houses and you got your buddy Meadow chilling with you. Huh. You see, he's not afraid of the cats at all. This cat actually sticks her paw in there and pets him on the nose. Oh, she's about to do it. Hi. How you like it, Blink? Oh, he's checking out his box. Him and Meadow are pretty good friends. He likes to play with the kitten because the kitten's small and the kitten will get uh, in the temp cage. He'll jump in there with him. But Meadow's pretty cool. Look, she's petting him. And he's not scared of her, you see? Hi. Hi, kitty. You're a good kitty. You love that little thingy, huh? You keep him busy. You keep him busy, huh? Yeah, good, Meadow. Hey, Blink, how you like it? You like your new cage? It's looking good, huh? Say hi to everyone. Wee 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 wee. Wee 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 wee. Good boy. Good boy, Blinkster. Oh, he's a good boy, isn't he? He's a good boy, isn't he? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and let him get acclimated to the new stuff. You know, new smells. So and put him away and thanks for stopping by disturbing creation pets and we hope you had a good time and you don't have to like I said we we make our own substrate now even though we got donated some of this stuff um but I'm using it because we got donated but I'm showing you you don't have to do that and then we put the box in there for I mean just buy pieces as you can the first thing is you have to have the right cage second thing is I like this wall so he feels like he's hidden more often. Uh, and then you have to buy a water bottle. Do not use that little thing on the bottom. So buy this that clips on, buy this, and then get him some kind of wood to start. Then you can just make your own substrate and cardboard, get your own little boxes. And then as you go on, you can get him a little wheel to play in here, exercise. Oh, you can get him one of these things that hold the hay in place, you know. Uh, all this stuff will come, but a little bit at a time, you know what I mean? That's how you keep a happy piggy. Is what I'm doing a lot of research and reading. God damn it. So let's take a little sneak peek of a video we're working on right now and take this opportunity to hit that like button, subscribe, and share some of these videos that are going to help you and your friends save money. Um, you guys know I have two snakes, Pretzel the Orange, uh, Corn Sickle over there, and the, you know, I have um, the Ball Python here. Uh, his name is Jake. And then way over there, we adopted Spike the Bearded Dragon, who wasn't really taken care of very well. I'm cleaning his cage, so it's kind of empty. He's not very happy. Um, I'm gonna show you the three cages that I have, but I am going to make a stepper shelf so that I can put all three animals on top of each other in one place.